Just as CES kicked off this week, Oculus announced pre-orders for the Rift. We finally have a price of $599, and we got to test out the latest prototype headset thanks to Nvidia. The first demo we played was an Epic Games title powered by Unreal Engine 4 called Bullet Train. This demo was incredibly immersive as you use the Oculus Touch controllers to navigate through the world. With the Oculus Touch controllers in hand, you can warp around the level, picking up guns such as pistols and shotguns, blasting bad guys in every direction. It was an incredible demo of the touch controller's capabilities and had me feeling like I was near from the matrix with its bullet time-like effects. Pressing a button on the touch controller slowed down time, making it easy enough to literally pick your enemy's bullets up as they flew at you and even throwing them back at them. I could have played bullet time all day long, but I think it's a perfect demo of the new Rift and touch controllers. There was a second demo that we played using the HTC Vive where we stood in a room using the brand new Lighthouse controllers. So this is the new HTC Vive Pre with the front facing camera. We have the control on your right hand, which acts as a paintbrush of sorts where you can paint around a virtual room with a number of different styles, colors, and options. The left lighthouse controller acts as your palette where you can select different brush styles like fire, rainbow, which was very, very trippy, duct tape, and a bunch of different options. This type of VR application is gonna be great for education where I can see it being very useful in schools and universities and colleges. The next demo was Everest, which was based off of the movie that was released in 2015. This one has you dumped into the world of Everest, where you're at the complete peak of one of the highest mountains in the world, and you have about three or four different missions that you play through. These demos made a really good, a great use of the lighthouse controllers, with the first having me crawling across a ladder between two very large pieces of rock. Looking down is something that you just don't want to do in the VR world. The next part of the Everest demo had me climbing up a ladder in VR, with the lighthouse controllers acting as my hands. As I reached the top of the ladder, I deliberately looked down, getting the feeling that I was at the top of the ladder on Everest. It was surreal to say the least. All of NVIDIA's VR demos were powered by the GeForce GTX Titan X, which is more than capable of driving the demos at 90 frames per second consistently. Both experiences were incredibly smooth without any noticeable frame rate drops or motion jutter. For more information on this product and all of the coverage we have of CES 2016, check out tweaktown.com.